Aloha. Welcome. Thank you for coming to my live stream. My name is Master Paul, and I am honored to join you here today from Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu. Tuesday is the day that I am normally here to serve the center, and it is probably the most blessed day of my week as I get to stay here all day and bathe in this field. And for this one hour today, you get to bathe in the field with me. So I'm very grateful for you all joining me. As people join a little by little, uh, I will move into the subject matter today. <clears throat> but I wanted to uh, take a moment to say thank you to my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. and Master Shah. I would not have the opportunity to, to have any of these uh, gifts, any of the abilities to offer blessings, remote healings, uh, soul readings, without his wisdom and teachings. I remember about 15 years ago when I had truly no awareness of um, what the energy body was. I knew of it. I had no idea how to access it. I knew that the ability to um, feel energy was, was there, but I didn't know how to do it. I knew the ability to talk to heaven was there. I had no clue how to accomplish it. And if it wasn't for Dr. and Master Shah and the incredible um, step by step process and wisdom and insights that he's offered in his books, in his videos, there's no way I would be sitting here today. So I bow my head to my speech, my teacher, my spiritual father, Master Shah, because he is by far the most important uh, person that has come into my life. So I uh, deeply deeply appreciate you coming. Uh, welcome Chai, welcome Yvonne, welcome Kristen, I see you're just joined. <clears throat> um, one of the unique things about this is I get to start talking for the first three to five minutes while everybody else finds out that I'm live and comes on. Anything I say before those first three to five minutes can only be seen when we go back into the recording. So it's curious that way. So. In becoming a worldwide representative, one of the things that has been most heart opening for me is that I can actually um, help people the way I've wanted to. When I was a much younger man, about half the age I was now, I had a deep yearning to serve and had no clue what that looked like. So I became a valley mm -hmm. brother and that allowed me to, to uh, be like a father figure, but more like a friend figure to a younger man. And that was my idea of service at that time. I really uh, have went through a lot of growth in understanding how to serve others. But truly, the, the biggest way I've come across so far is with the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah and the power of soul. The, uh, the way in which I can serve with this wisdom is endless. There is not one area of life that I cannot impact. When I go to, to serve at the soup kitchen, for example, I am serving one person at a time on a physical hunger-based level. And the reality is that the ability to, I'm gonna turn on my Wi-Fi here if I can, see if that improves my connection. But the ability to, um, to maintain a service to somebody with financial conditions, relationship problems, um, business-related problems, problems with coworkers, health, any form of the body, any part of the body, health issues, heart, heart-related issues, soul, soulmate. Soul touches on every one of these. And it's just so amazing having the ability to impact so many different people's lives with one wisdom, one teaching, and one set of foundational healing uh, abilities. So I, again, I bow my head to Dr. Master Shah for bringing one simple based solution for every aspect of our life. So welcome Lillian, welcome Sijan, welcome Kuale. Happy to have you all join us. Not quite sure why I'm having difficulty with the signal. I'm in town. I should have five bars on my phone and I'm right next to the internet router. So all I can do is apologize if it uh, if it disconnects. If it ever does, just know 
that I will come back on and start streaming again, okay? <clears throat> so today's subject is on relationships. Not necessarily our lover relationships, our husband or wife relationships, but relationships in general. Relationships have a soul, and a lot of people don't understand the nature of that. One important thing to understand about relationships is that very often, if we have a relationship that lasts anything more than three months, it's highly likely we have had a relationship with that other person before in a previous lifetime. And therefore, previous lifetime communications were not the same as we have now. Today we could be friends. Other lifetimes we could have been brother and sister. Today we could be father and, and daughter. In other lifetimes it could have been reversed. There's a possibility, as weird as it sounds, in other lifetimes we could have been husband and wife. So our relationships uh, could be many different possibilities. And we remain the same as a soul. We come in in different roles. They remain the same as a soul. They come in in different roles. So the two souls remain the same, but the relationship between those two souls has a wide variety of experience, has a wide variety of both uh, excellent and um, not so good karma that has been generated from those multiple lifetimes. So the relationship soul is exceedingly relevant to the success of your communication with those other people in your life. Often we have a relationship with our coworkers that can be stressful. And it's important for us to recognize that there's a reasonable possibility we have worked with those souls before. And in doing so, we very much could have uh, made some unpleasant choices, and we very much could have um, made those same unpleasant choices that we are now suffering. Maybe one of those uh, co-workers is very undermining. They see a bunch of things about you when your back is turned. And you truly have done nothing to harm them that you're aware of, especially in this lifetime. So when we take a look at things from the perspective of relationship, from the perspective of the relationship's soul, it changes the dynamics entirely. And it gives us a much newer, higher, and better way to find solutions. So I encourage you to isolate one or two major relationship areas in your life today that are definitely showing up as a blockage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some soul readings and in about the half hour mark, about 20 minutes from now, I'm going to offer a crown chakra blessing for the relationship between you and that other soul. We'll do some soul readings first. And I've asked uh, Katie to join us. We'll see if she does. Kuale, I know your third eye can uh, pop open at times. So anyone that has third eye imagery, I'm going to ask you to please uh, assist in what you see when I offer that crown chakra blessing. Because I can do a soul reading, but those that are watching, to them, especially somebody that watches this down the road, all they're going to see is they're going to see my hand out and they're not going to know if anything's happening at all. Their, their, their mind will be saying, well, maybe, maybe not. I'll do a soul reading and then the third eye readings can also assist all that are enjoying us today to have a much clearer, full, well-rounded understanding of the value of it, okay? Because they're truly extraordinary, these crown chakra blessings. So one of you uh, today could be very lucky. We'll find out. Heaven chooses. Okay. So thank you again, Kuala. Uh, her, she says her service isn't as good, but she's happy and she's been able to receive the essence of this show. Uh, Lillian, aloha, Master Paul. Good morning from Melbourne, from me, and happy to be with your show. Grateful, wonderful, Lillian. Thank you for joining. Uh, C. John, da I, da I, da I. Yes, thank you, C. John. And Katie, welcome, welcome, thank you for joining. Pat JD, welcome, welcome, thank you for joining. Aloha, Steve, good to see you, brother. Uh, and then Pat JD says, happy to join. Kuale, could I ask a question for relationships? Yes, you can, with H, okay. Um, what would be an outcome of our relationship? I am truly grateful for any guidance. Okay, so one comment is, um, I am not a, a psychic, so uh, it does help to have some direction. 
Um, you can say with my mother, my father, with a boyfriend, something of that nature. It, it helps me to tune in a bit more. Um, the one thing that Master Peggy, one of our most seasoned Divine Channels said is, if you ask a general question, you'll get a general answer. If you ask a specific question, you'll get a specific answer. Um, Margaret joined. Welcome, Margaret. Crystal joined. Welcome, Crystal. Kate joined. Welcome, Kate. Wonderful. We have a couple of our Aussies that have joined us today. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, um, Kule, if you could please ask just a little bit more pointed question. I'm happy to do a flow for you. Everybody else, think of an area in your life where you have a relationship with somebody. And it's a bit, uh, uh, it, you know what? I'm going to open this up to why do I have such an excellent relationship with da-da-da-da-da. We can do, go that direction also. So we can work both directions for the soul readings. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, work with C. John's question mm -hmm. for now, and then I'll wait for your question to come back in, Kuhle. Mm -hmm. Okay, C. John, Master uh, Paul, I would be beyond grateful to receive a reading for my relationship with the divine. Wow, that'll be fun. I had such a strong connection with the divine. It was the only thing in the world that mattered to me and karma hit and that connection went. Uh-huh, okay, very good question. I'm sure there'll be a more than one person that receives value from this flow, but let's find out. <coughs> Welcome, uh, Claudia. Dear Divine, Dear the soul of C. John, Dear the soul of the relationship between our beloved divine and C. John, we love you, honor you, we appreciate you. We bow down to you as appropriate. We ask for any wisdom, any information, anything that can assist our beloved C. John to understand mm -hmm. what happened with her communication with you and what happened with her love and her love connection with you. We ask that this message go to her in such a way that she is able to have deeper and greater understanding and reconnect to your heart and soul in the highest, best, most efficient way possible. We're so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My beloved, See, John, I love you, my entire being loves you without condition. There is not any part of you from the tip of your hair to the end of every emotion you have ever held to the beginning of your conception to this very moment, each and every thought, action, and perception you have ever held, I have caressed and honored with the purest love and light. You, my beloved daughter, have never left my heart. I have never left anyone's heart. And you, my beloved daughter, are very dear to me. You asked why was there separation between us. It is the same for you as it is for many of my children. It is because of this chosen experience called the physical life. In this experience, you my children are exploring life, love, and many other things. You are given the tools to stay in alignment with me. However, as the nature of this experience is creation and is free will, sometimes 
those choices made, both in this and other times, return. And if one of my children has stayed in alignment with my heart, and if they choose to stay in alignment with my heart, when a karmic return comes, then in fact my love assists them to work through those blockages that have come around to remind them how to purify, how to realign to oneness. Many fail in this test and they fail in the staying in alignment. Again, I do not judge. I simply send more support that they can return as soon as possible. You, my dear, experienced that as well. And now you have even more support to help you to return to my heart. Know that when you speak to me, I am there. When you call upon me, I am there. When you beg and ask of me, I am there. But you must trust and believe. And when difficulties come, stay with me in my heart and you will pass through those difficulties with far greater ease and they will not in most cases return because it is love and it is forgiveness that clears and melts all blockages. This statement is true for you and for all souls. Stay close to me and all of the past trespasses can be dissolved with much greater speed. I love you, my daughter. I look forward to assisting you to return to my heart as quickly as possible. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, C. John, for that question. Great question. Okay, let's keep going up here. Uh, Yvonne, my deceased mother, they were not in a good relationship. She is too controlling, but I refuse to accept that's why she was like that. Okay, I'll come back to that in just a second, Yvonne. Welcome, Esther. Um, again, welcome, Katie. Okay, good. All right, so let's work with <coughs> my deceased mother. Okay, Yvonne, think of your mother. To the soul of Yvonne's uh, mother who has crossed over, the soul of the relationship between Yvonne and her mother, all of the communication, the soul of all, all lifetimes of the relationships between these two, how it is manifested in this lifetime, the highest and best um, information for Yvonne to have towards this relationship so that any karma between them can be resolved in this lifetime. Could you all please be present at this time to assist Offer guidance, wisdom, and insights that is most pertinent for Yvonne to hear at this time. How? This is Yan Wan Ye. I have opened both of your records. I have reviewed the battle between you two. Both of you are exceeding, exceedingly strong willed. And the picture I'm getting, Yvonne, is like two of the big rams with their big horns going, hmm, and then they back off and they do it again. That's the picture heaven gives me. The strong will is directly related <coughs> to multiple lifetimes in which, and there's many lifetimes, there's probably 30, 40 at least, um, where you two have been not only uh, mother and father, um, daughter to mother, father to son, you have been generals in opposing armies, you have been
businesses on opposing side, business leaders on opposing sides, political leaders on opposing sides. You too have been brought into many different potential relationships to resolve the ego and the big battle between you to be right. You can choose to remain self-righteous in this lifetime. Your deceased mother begs of you to call her soul, teach her soul forgiveness, and do as much as possible in this life that you too can move through and pass this. She is deeply uh, bowing down now to your soul uh, for forgiveness for all the lifetimes that she has abutted up against you. The personality in this life hold the reins of the karma left to be resolved in this life and the potential resolve in past lives. You have much to accomplish with this relationship. It is recommended that you do as much as possible to clear this karma as if it is not dealt with, it will, it has the possibility of continuing this form of suffering for 132 more lifetimes. This is Yen Wan Ye. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you for that question, Yvonne. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Esther, for your welcoming. Uh, Katie, can you please offer me guidance as to why I have such a close and spiritual relationship with Mr. Ping? Mr. Ping is her dog, for those that do not know. Uh, what our past has been like and why we have been put together to serve in this lifetime. Happy to do that, Katie. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit before I come back. Mm -hmm. Lillian's ask, I'd love a soul reading in my relationship with uh, one of my Shurfus. And our connection from past lifetimes, why I love them so much. I love doing flows with them. Yay. Uh, Katie, I'd also like to know the significance of my relationship with the 17th Buddha of the Dabi Joe. Okay. And Steve, dear Master Paul, I'd like a soul reading on my relationship with beloved Guan Yin. I've always had a connection with her from the beginning of time. Okay. And welcome, Magdalene. Um, Jyota, welcome. Alicia, Jade Kwan, Alicia, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to ask Kevin to offer these answers a little bit faster, uh, uh, stay a little bit more pertinent in the details so that um, we can address all of your questions. So Katie, and we'll, I'll go ahead and put off the crown chakra blessing for about uh, another 15 minutes. So uh, Katie, I'll ask you if you can to do some third eye readings. Anybody else that has third eye, I'll ask them to comment and one of you will receive this blessing. This is for your question about your connection with Mr. Ping. In which, Katie, you were a tree, a beautiful, tall tree. You could reach to the sky. You talked to the clouds every day. You talked to the sun every day. You nurtured the birds and honored their presence every day. Mr. Ping in this lifetime was a flower at the base of the tree. And you spoke to Mr. Ping as this flower all the time. You two had wonderful conversations this flower in this lifetime always wondered what it was like to be able to have tree, uh, birds, a land, and a light on it. It knew that its limbs were not strong enough for this. You two conversed on the uniqueness of the flower to offer the essence that it does, the beauty that it does. You shared equally the value of your ability to express both of you felt a bit of regret that you did not have what the other had, and so you held 
a very long-standing relationship. Um, the Mr. Ping flower actually created quite a bit of children from the seeds, and you would continue to teach the seedlings as they grew about your relationship with Mr. Ping the flower and the ancestry uh, lineage until you left, which was about about 1,000 years you lived. You were quite a long living tree. You had gained great wisdom and are ready for the next level in your journey. This is one lifetime that has led you to have this type of connection today. We thought that this would be a very unique and enjoyable reading for you. And there is much deeper wisdom for all those listening. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, that was kind of cool, huh? I never know what heaven's going to tell you. Okay, Lillian. Uh, dear Master Paul, I'd love to have a soul reading with my relationship with one of my Sherpus on our connection from past lifetimes and why I love them so much. How? To the soul of the Sherpus that are with our beloved Lillian and why they have such a strong connection. Any wisdom at this time for our beloved Lillian that could assist most and best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the one known as Jesus. I come to tell you my beloved Lillian, that you are a chosen one to serve humanity in this lifetime. All that have been chosen have not answered, and all that have answered have been chosen. Our connection is not limited to this lifetime. Your connection with your team has been nurtured for many lifetimes. You have been on the opposite side numerous times as one of the Heaven's team nurturing the physical soul of others. And this has allowed you to have a deep and wonderful communicative conversation with me and your team. Continue to nurture this. It is in relation to all things because as you form this common nurturing and communication, you are serving all souls. All souls are witnessing that we have always been there. You are, in essence, clearing blockages that have separated many from heaven just by your communication with us. It is the nature of like attracts like, and the highest frequencies attract similar frequencies. Continue this service and many will be greatly benefited. This is beloved Master Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was expecting something a bit different from, from Master Jesus, but that's what he wanted to share. So thank you, Master Jesus. Bow down to you. Bow down to divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this sharing. Okay, so Katie, I have answered one for you, so I'm going to check with the others first, make sure I help them, uh, and then we'll come back around and check in. Uh, so Steve has asked why he's had a great relationship with Kuan Yin. Uh, she's always had a connection with her from the first time I'd heard of her, even though I didn't know who she was. Okay. Dear beloved Kuan Yin, dear the soul of Stephen Pointer, the soul of their relationship, 
in this and all lifetime? Can you please share why there is such a connection? And any additional information for Stephen at this time? All. My beloved Stephen, this is Guan Yin. Immediately I gave Master Paul an image where you were my daughter in a lifetime. This was not a lifetime that I had achieved Bodhisattva status. However, it was a lifetime in which I was an adept in an esoteric program, and I always shared with you what I had learned in the hopes that you would achieve greater than I. In this lifetime, we were both unable to achieve old age. But my love for you has never changed. And each time you are incarnated, I subdivide one of my souls to be with you to ensure you reach the final goal. I have done this with many of those children from all of my lifetimes because I love them equally as I love you. Stretch yourself as much as possible. The opportunities in this life are immeasurable and impossible to accomplish at any other time. I will support you as much as is allowed. This is beloved Kuan Yin. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, Kuan Yin. She's so sweet. Just a blessing just to flow her. Get so many blessings. Thank you, Guan Yin. Okay. Got time for one, maybe two more readings. Aloha, Master Paul. <coughs> Thank you for sharing. Da'ai, you're welcome. Um, Magdalene, Master Paul, message as, or service. I, any message or, or service I'm grateful to receive, if it is appropriate. Um, I'll consider that one. Magdalene, I want to see if there's any specific relationship questions. Jyota, good morning for Sydney and Australia. I'd like a soul reading. Uh, hopefully something a bit more specific, Jyota. Alicia Jade Queen, hi, Master Paul. I'd like a reading from my most recent partner, and if is it appropriate. Okay. I want to comment on Katie's response, third eye response. I could see, see, John. Uh, soul illuminating with golden and white light as divine's love and compassion. So beautiful and loving. Great. Esther comments. Jyota, I would like to, understanding the meaning and purpose recently, having crossed paths with a dear friend. Okay, so Jyota, you asked first, uh, a little vague, but I see a secondary request here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer an answer to yours first, because you did chime in first. I see a bit, a bit more um, uh, specific question now. I would like to understand the meaning and purpose recently having crossed paths with a dear soul who knew me from age 17 and there is still a very strong connection with this soul. What's the purpose uh, at this time? Okay, you're the soul of Jyota, uh, this relationship that she is speaking of with this person from 17 years ago that has re-entered her life and there's still a connection with. Could you please offer any uh, wisdom at this time? How? This is the soul of their relationship between these two souls. 
they have had quite a few lifetimes, many of them as mentor and student, both directions. There have been some lifetimes as family, some lifetimes as lovers. Their connection is honoring, respectful, filled with gratitude for each other, and supportive. That last word is what is most appropriate to be stated at this time. This soul and you have made agreements to be supportive of each other in this lifetime. There is a possibility for, at some point down the road, stronger relationship. But for now, nurture all friendship possibilities. And trust that sharing of any kind between you two will be kept private and honored as the nature of your two's history is one of trust and honesty. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, Jota, for that question. Okay, Esther, uh, since I started practicing, this will be the last one before I do a crown track of blessing. Since I started practicing to develop my soul language back in 2009, I started to hear a very sweet voice calling my name, saying, good night. But when I, when I shared my experience with others, it stopped. Would like to know who it was. Okay. Jai the soul of Esther, Jai the soul of this practice, uh, doing our soul language in 2009, I started to share. Uh, I, I just heard very clearly. It was your soul, uh, Esther. It was your soul communicating with you, saying good night. Um, and it hasn't gone anywhere. It was almost like um, I'm hearing that your soul was saying these things to you because it's, uh, it wanted you to know that it, it appreciates your communication. It appreciates staying connected. It appreciates having a voice. Um, it appreciates being able to serve others through the soul language voice. And uh, so what you're hearing was actually your soul communicating with you. You still hear your soul communicating with you now. Um, you just, um, because your heart was open in a very unique way at that time with the releasing of the soul language, you heard it as unique, new, and sweet. Uh, that same unique new and sweetness is there. It has just shifted uh, because of your allowance and acceptance of the soul communication and the connections associated with it. So do some more soul communication. You will probably uh, be able to relocate uh, that voice. Okay. All right, so let me uh, go through these others real fast and I'm gonna offer a crown chakra blessing for one of the lucky souls. Lisa, Aloha Master Paul, soul reading with my partner, Valencia, uh, message from beloved Mother Mary or beloved Kuan Yin, Kate, Dai, Master Paul, would like a relationship reading with the head of a NGO that I'll be volunteering with in India. Uh, countless balance, Master Paul in heaven, thank you for the beautiful reading. I can relate to the message deeply. I'm honored to have received this. You are so welcome. And you are also welcome to see John. Thank you for reading it. Dove joined us. Stephen, wow, I know, huh? I had to double check to make sure you were the daughter, not the son. <laughs> and uh, Aloha Master Paul, everyone, Lillian, uh, thank you dear Paul and beloved Master Jesus for this message. Beloved Jesus is on my main Heavens team, I am grateful for the message. Yes, he is, Giotta, thank you so much, I am deeply grateful Master Paul, you are welcome. And Yvonne, I made an effort to receive Divine Family Relationship Dindon um, at the advanced retreat, good, okay. So, I will now check guidance as to who can receive this blessing. Uh, even if I haven't done a reading for some of you, you may be chosen. I'll just have to do another reading. So hang in there, please.
Okay. So, Alicia, congratulations. You will be the one today that will receive the Crown Chakra Blessing. So I will do a reading first for your question here, so I haven't connected with you yet. Um, she says, I'd like a reading for my most recent partner, and as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, think of your partner, Alicia. Uh, mention your partner's name to heaven, to the soul of Alicia, the soul of Alicia's partner that she's thinking of. Um, and the soul of their most recent relationship, the soul of any information that is pertinent for Alicia at this time regarding that relationship, and any additional guidance uh, for the crown chakra blessing that she will receive. Please be present at this time. Please offer guidance as to whatever is most pertinent and appropriate and important for her to hear. How? For our dear Alicia, you have a pure heart, a heart that tends to fly like a butterfly, tends to look for the most beautiful flower to land on and then soak in that beauty. This kind of heart is truly needed on earth today. However, there are quite a few times when this kind of heart gets very hurt. And that happens because of the lack of depth of strength and connectedness to your source. Th those that bring a light, fluffy heart to relationships often get hurt not because of what they bring, but because of the sheer lack of expectation of someone would harm them, that someone would say such unpleasant things to them or lie to them the way they do. Those that have hearts of this nature often close their heart after getting beat up a few times. The solution, my daughter, is to come into a relationship with eyes wide open to know that all relationships that last more than a month or two usually have some karma between them and that things could come up and that soul is the way to resolve them. For you, stay connected to divine in every aspect possible. Make the divine your love. Make the divine your bounty, your fulfiller. Then, should you enter a relationship and be flitting, flighting around and enjoying the flower, if one you are with is not as connected as you, not as uh, respectful as you in the communication and love process, and they choose to make different choices that might bring pain emotionally. You will not be so battered by the wind, so to speak, of the shift, whereas your strength has been set in the love of the divine. Your, uh, your toes are held into the skin of the heart of the divine and therefore any relationship that does not offer you the love that you bring to it does not harm you, make you fall off balance. For you, my daughter, this is the message. So I will offer a crown chakra blessing for you to connect your heart and soul to your original soul's purpose in finding love and connecting to love at the appropriate and in the appropriate way. This will allow you that when you enter a relationship to have a strength in God's love and not have an expectation to have others fulfill the love. 
you are very blessed. So please at home, sit up straight. Okay. <clears throat> As I adjust this, give me a moment. Okay, hopefully you can hear me again. All right. To the soul of our beloved Alicia Jade Kwan, please come to sit in this chair. Alicia, at home, you are sitting. Back away from the back of the chair. Head straight. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth gently. Feet flat on the floor. Bring your thoughts and your breath into your lower abdomen. Take a deep breath in. And release. Bring in your thoughts and your breath into your lower abdomen. Connect to the divine. And I will connect to this healing transmission. Uh, dear Katie, could you please... Um, uh, make notes as to any third eye images you receive from this crown chakra blessing. And anybody else that sees any third eye images, you can share also. I'm going to connect now, and Jade, you prepare to the soul of my Blessing has not started yet. I'm still preparing. Crown chakra blessing for our beloved Jade. Begin. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 Yeah, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Crown chakra blessing ends. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. We thank heaven, all the heavenly generals and soldiers that came to offer this blessing on behalf of the divine, on behalf of this crown chakra blessing. We thank all those souls who have in any way, shape, or form received virtue to assist our beloved Jade, our beloved Alicia, at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, I will do a soul reading in just a minute. I'm going to see if there's any posts regarding this. As it, uh, Lillian says, as a friend of Alicia's, I feel this is a very true message for her in this current situation she's been going through. Countless bow downs. Yay! Thank you, Lillian, for that confirmation. <clears throat> Katie says, as Master Paul is preparing, I see a beautiful golden ball above his hand. Connecting heaven, it turns into a big golden heart. As the light bursts from this golden heart, I see it turn into millions of... of golden hearts, all oh, beautiful, falling into her crown. The soul of this relationship is bowing down in deep gratitude, very grateful. I see the two souls taking each other's hands now, truly able to feel each other's unconditional love. They start to dance, and they are both smiling and crying at the same time. They have waited so long to be in this harmony. Heaven's flowers are just pouring down upon them. It is like a parade for their heaven's team, <laughs> ancestors and loved ones. I see that animals have gathered, birds, squirrels, deer, lions, elephants, dragons, tigers, and more. They are special animal saints that were created to serve this blessing and the soul of this relationship. The blessings and transformations will continue. Thank you, Katie. That's a wonderful message. And she goes on to say, Master Paul, I got the message and saw that this time has saved them lifetimes of repeating this same karma and has freed their hearts to receive more love from everyone and everything. Yes. And Alicia says, thank you so much, Master Paul. Countless bow downs are not enough. I have been feeling so alone, so upset, and more heartbroken than ever. I feel so supported and so loved. Your soul song warmed my heart. See more. And then she says, I am so thankful. Countless bow downs. You're so blessed. You're so welcome, Alicia. Yeah. <clears throat> How beautiful. I'm very happy for Alicia. Thank you, Jyoti. You know, very important to be happy for other souls. You know, sometimes we want, we want for ourselves. And yet, one of the keys is to, to, if you want healing for your heart, do healing for others' heart. If you want healing for your back pain, offer love, peace, harmony for others' back pain. This is the key. Serving others naturally brings blessings to ourselves. So to offer gratitude for somebody else's blessing is very wise. It's very, uh, very um, deep wisdom to do so. So thank you, Jyotia, for being that model. Um, and Alicia says again, wow, thank you so much, Katie. Yeah, it's good to have that. And uh, okay, so now I will do a soul reading as to the value of this service from a uh, heaven's perspective. So this is one of the souls on your heaven's team, but she's almost like a like this so benevolent loving female being she's just like pure love that's very very beautiful soul
My dear Alicia, I am so overjoyed for this blessing for you at this time. Your suffering separates you from your Creator, separates you from all of us that are here to support you. This blessing today has impacted many lifetimes, including times when you were separate from the Divine. Relationships with this One you have brought forth. But most importantly, it has given you a very strong foundation. We have poured great and high levels of the Divine's love into your very beingness. With it has come legions of servants to assist you to have the deeper esoteric awarenesses as to the source of the Divine's wellspring of love as it comes from every possible direction. There have been one additional Heaven team member that has come specifically through this blessing to assist you to move from the way you bring yourself to a relationship today to the way that is healthiest for you to bring yourself into a relationship moving forward. There was additional blessings to remove patterns, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that hold you in a pattern of attracting the wrong one. The relationship between you and this other has been nurtured tremendously, and there is still other karmas that must be addressed. We tell you a simple message. Choose one that is honoring of your heart, and that if there is a dishonoring of your heart, and the response is one of inauthenticness, do not continue to bring yourself to relationships that do not honor your authenticness. Trust your guidance. It is attuned well. Follow your heart, but trust your guidance. This is our message to you at this time. This blessing has saved you. It has saved your life. There likely could have been a relationship within the next several years that would have broken your heart and you could at that time have taken your life. And the reason why would be because of your disconnect from heaven, from the love that is your wellspring and your source. This blessing today, because of the virtue offered, because of the teams and wisdom that has come to you, has offset the conditional environment that would have brought that experience about. You are very blessed. This is one of your Heaven's team. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us bow our heads to the Divine for this incredible opportunity, this, this incredible ability. We bow our heads to Master Shah because without him we would not have this ability at all to clear these blockages or have these awarenesses. So thank you, Master Shah, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Thank you, Divine, thank you, Maya, Divine Channel Soul for your service and this blessing. So this blessing is available for anybody, anybody that you care about. The honor fee is $100. Uh, it can be offered remotely and it doesn't have to be for this particular subject matter. Uh, we can do a soul reading on what it might be. Crown Chakra Blessings can be very flexible. They can assist you with transforming work relationship blockages, uh, personal blockages, uh, many different things. And that's the value of a soul reading is aligning to what that, what the Crown Chakra might best serve you at. So if you have any questions about that, just feel free to contact me. I'm happy to serve you in that way. Um, we're right at the end of our hour. I'm so grateful that the phone hasn't kicked off like it usually does for no reason whatsoever. I'm going to do my best to offer you all a blessing. So um, if you need to contact me later, then by all means do so. Uh, I do uh, complimentary 
uh, 10 minute readings but beyond that I do have to honor my time so I love you all please prepare for this uh, blessing at this time to complete today's live stream make your request <clears throat> Blessing begin. I love my heart and soul. I love all human 